Hey there YouTube, it's Asenva here with my friend Rockin' Ichigo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah. We're here for PJD Tea Time Talk. Here's your tea, this is my tea. Wow, well, I was already trying to drink mine. <laughs> Lame. No, just kidding. Uh, I am drinking a really cheap tea. I think it's red raspberry tea. I was drinking Earl Grey, but I have a second cup now. Mine's what the same. Think? It's Which milky is? tea! Milky tea! So, uh, long story short, I have a new BJD Tea Time Talk song. If you guys remember, my old one was like, doo 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 It had the little bubbles and everything like that. Uh, my new computer is like, does not even know what that was, and so I had to do a brand new song. So we did a brand new song, so I hope you guys like it! <laughs> we did our sales. Yeah! Guess what time it is? Tea time with just a lovey So for today's tea time talk, we are going to be discussing wigs and other questions that I have received in my inbox. So BJD wigs come in many different styles, colors, shapes, and sizes. There's fur wigs, there's synthetic <laughs> wigs, there's heat resistant wigs, Tibetan mohair, combo wigs, and many more. So I thought I'd first start off by telling you a little bit about which are my favorite wigs, and then Rockin can talk about what are her favorite kinds of wigs. And for me, if you don't already know, it would be fur wigs. So Threa right here is wearing a fur wig. This is actually a Sunny's World wig and it's a two-tone wig so it's got some red in it. And I really honestly just love fur wigs because they can do cool Final Fantasy spiking hair awesome cool Oosh. stuff. This is a spite and malice that I got custom made. How is it custom made? It is custom because I chose the two colors that are in his hair. Mm -hmm. And then she just makes it to order. Mm -hmm. Jake right here is wearing a Michiko wig. It's a size 6 wig for him. And it also is technically a fur wig as well. Um, and it's got a different texture to it though than these kinds of fur wigs here. And it's also made differently. So this is what the inside of my Sunny's World wig looks like. There's actually no elastic outing thingy band on the outside. Um, it just simply just pops right on. I, you have to have some type of traction underneath, so that's why Thera is wearing this swimmer cap right now. Um, I'm too getter and poor to buy silicone caps and I don't want to buy wig stoppers. Uh, so he's wearing this right now and, and it just keeps it on his head just like this and it doesn't really shift around because I have that added traction there. That's how this fur wig works. It has um, no elastic bands. It's just the wig that's actually just sewn just the way it is. I guess mine's more made to hug the head than just to sit there. So he doesn't need any kind of yeah. traction. Hers is more tightly sewn together than my guys over there. They're just different. So, my friend Jake right here with the Michiko wig though, on the other side of the fur wig spectrum, he has a elastic band in the inside of it. And if you look in the inside right here, and I'll be more than happy to do it, undo it from the inside, it does have its sewn here, and then right along the edge is where the elastic band is and that's so you don't have to put on a wig cap or anything like that it just sticks to the doll and that's it that's the end story so you would essentially just go ahead and whoop, slip it over his head with the elastic band stretching out along his head and you have to make sure that all your hair comes out of the bottom of the wig but essentially it'll just pop right on there. You don't have to put any thing extra because it just sticks on there just like that. So little Umi-chan here is wearing another kind of fur wig. This one is actually from Mimi Wu and it too has no 
elastic band very much like that is it's sewn differently it's sewn a little bit differently but same concept you'll need some type of traction to keep it on the doll so for little Umi I did the other method which it looks really dirty right now so totally ignore it um, I did a hot glue ring headband type thing it's not attached to the doll in any way it's just um, just the ring of hot glue on a piece of tape and it's on the inside and on the outside so I just slip it on her head like a little crown and then I go ahead and I put on the actual wig on top yep and with my handy dandy ring it just goes back on and it stays like it won't fall off of her or anything like that I felt like a blizzard drink when I did that <laughs> and like that I was like blizzard so the other kind of wig that you can purchase are synthetic wigs. Whee! So synthetic wigs are very much like if any of you out there cosplay, it is just like those synthetic wigs. Although there are um, some wigs that you can buy that are heat resistant. Most of them aren't. Um, you kind of have to look for that extra label if they are. And basically they too come in different colors and styles and shapes and different things like that um, and as far as styling these kinds of wigs go there's special things that people do in order to style them because since they're synthetic you would have to apply a product to it and some people use like wig mister stuff I've heard people use a watered down solution of like white Elmer's glue to do spikes into their wigs uh, if they have synthetic uh, wigs and um, I've also heard a lot of different things about people like using some products that you would use like in your hair but I probably wouldn't suggest doing that um, there's a bunch of different discussions and hairstyle tips and things like that on DOA I'll go ahead and I'll link some of those below in the comments bar but um yeah synthetic wigs are pretty cool so Yue is currently um, wearing a Dawson wig, and Dawson wigs are really cool. Mine has stayed in an actually pretty good, phantasmical, awesome condition. Whoa! <laughs> Yue's wig has stayed pretty, like, nice over the year, years. It's gonna be years soon. <laughs> um, and they look just like this. So this is the inside. So it has an elastic band on the outside here so it can stretch over the head and it has a little bit of mesh, kind of like netting stuff in the inside and it has the hair here. So my favorite thing to do with these wigs if they get kind of tangled or whatever is I brush them out with the toothbrush because you don't want to use something too crazy like a real real hairbrush because that may pull out the fibers and kind of break them and that's not good for your wigs and synthetic wigs you have to be triple careful with them because most of the times they're a little bit more expensive than you would find for fur wigs I think this one is like twenty dollars versus my other fur wigs which were like varying in price from like five ninety nine to like twelve ninety nine or thirteen ninety nine so uh, you do pay a pretty penny but they do last uh, well and they look very realistic and they're really cool too so this is a doll zoom synthetic wig this is another synthetic wig it is a Monique wig I can't remember what style it is right now off the top of my head but if I remember it I'll go ahead and I'll put that in the comments box below uh, I really don't use this wig at all. It was my first wig I ever re ever received, ever got for any of my dolls, and it was for Kai. And it is forever called the Karibo wig, and now it is like the Karibo, like, creeper wig. Cause it's got <laughs> creeper eyes now. And, um, basically... Oh, God, I feel so nasty doing this. <laughs> basically, um... It has the same concept as like the Dawson wig that I showed you guys earlier. It has an elastic band in the inside of it and it has like a mesh inside middle part thingy. My brain's not working properly right now. But you know what I mean. So that's what it looks like. And um, didn't like the wig very much because it was so chopped up. 
but in the picture, and this is why you have to be very careful with synthetic wigs sometimes, it looked really cool in the picture, and then when I brought it home and I put it on my doll, I was like, what is this? <laughs> I don't know what this is. It was so crazy looking. And um, that's like the uh, sad part about these wigs sometimes, because they look so cool online, and whoever company, whatever company has them, they style them themselves, you know, and it looks really cool. But when you get it in the mail, you're just like, what am I going to do with this? This looks so weird. It's like so chopped up, like so gross. So another type of wig I have here is whoop, a Parabox synthetic wig and these are kind of like the 3-4 size range and they fit on the little Obitsu dolls and um, this is like a 21 size head and I also have a couple of other ones that are like the 27 range and these wigs they fit on those as well. And basically the same concept as any other synthetic wig, it's got an elastic band on the outside and the mesh on the inside. You slip it on top and it will stay there. So Rockin' is kind enough to have another wig. Rockin', would you like to show them that wig? You can take that off. So Rockin', do you have a favorite type of wig? Not really. No, because... I think for me it just depends on the on the character that I'm looking for. So it's like fur wigs might work for one character, but it might not work for another one. That kind of thing. Because like right now, Roy and Newman have fur wigs, but Eamon and Rohan don't. They have synthetic. Mm -hmm. So that concludes our wig tea session thing, and we're gonna go ahead and start talking about the questions that I have. So, my first question is from a YouTube user named Stacia Starburst, and they were Stacia. asking, Stacia, they were asking <laughs> about um, dolls with a three-part midsection, and seeing if there's any dolls that I could recommend, and I did actually do some research, and I found some dolls that you may be interested in that you may want to look into. I'd also like to add they were looking more at the dolls that were from the 55 to 60 range versus the SD dolls. So the dolls that I have to suggest for you are in that range. So to go ahead and list the companies, there are a couple that I can just throw out there. One would be Resin Soul. The next is Dragon Doll. Then we have a company called A Street. And then there is Ring doll. So those are the companies that I can list for you. I'll go ahead and I'll add links for those in the bar below. So speaking from experience from having dolls that have two part midsection joints and having one that has a three part, it is cool because for example Kai is my three part. He is a resin sole gang. He does have the upper, the middle, and then towards the hip area joints. And he can slouch really well. Like almost like crouched over. Um, Thrai here, on the other hand, he's a doll family doll, and he only has the two-part section. He really can't slouch that much going forward at all. Um, but like I said, it's really going to boil down to what you really want. Um, if you foresee your doll being very, I guess, emo-ish, then maybe <laughs> you do want a three-part doll. But uh, it's really whatever that you're looking for. But please feel free to check out those companies, and maybe you'll find something that you like. And I think that about wraps it up for our tea time talk. I am completely out of tea. How about you? Totally. Thank you. I'd like to say a really quick shout out. Thanks to all those people that were there with us in our Ustream session because we were Ustreaming this while we were doing this video and it was complete fun and awesomeness. So thank you guys for coming on by and stopping by and saying hi. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I hope to see you guys in another tea time. Bye. 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 Time with the sun, love, be the naked